Hi, everybody. It's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. I'm going to get myself turned on over here so I can watch for comments. Hi, everybody. Oops, we need to turn the volume down. All right. Who do we have? We got somebody joining. Um, thanks for popping on. I am so sorry I'm late tonight. Um, we had an appointment that ran later than expected. So I quick popped out a message to let you know that we were running a little late. And then I came home and quick designed the project. So hi, Annie. And I saw who else? And I can't remember who I saw. Jackie. Yay. Thank you. Um, today is Friday, TGIF. It is day 11. We have one more day yet after um, today, so Sunday. I'm going to change tomorrow. I won't be doing one. You get tomorrow night off to do. So you guys do some little stamping tomorrow, and then you can post some pictures in the comments on Sunday. Sunday, I will try to come up with a couple of projects just to keep you rolling a little bit as we finish off to say Merry Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll look and see if I can't find a little Hanukkah something to share on Sunday also. Um, I know, exactly, Charlotte. That did go really fast. Um, that was kind of a scary thing of doing this is how quickly the time's gone by. Um, although today I kind of had a little bonus that it seemed like Christmas was the end of next week, and it's like, yay, I have another whole week that I can do things. So that was exciting to realize that. I'm finishing up some stamping stuff this weekend. Sunday I'll finish, and then I'm kind of going to take a little downtime next week or week after, I guess. So those of you joining, hi, Helen. Those of you joining who are team members, um, we'll have our team Christmas party next Wednesday. No, we're not meeting in person. It'll be a Zoom class or a Zoom party. Um, I'm going to do some looking over the weekend at some little games and things that we can do via Zoom and try to get some make and takes done. Um, that one's going to be a tricky, but we'll get there. Okay, it is 7 7.32, so I think we can turn our phone. Nope, not yet. We can't. Um... Tonight's prize I announced was the Have a Hoot stamp set. So thank you to those who shared, commented, <clears throat> excuse me, thumbs up. <clears throat> excuse me. I put them all into number generator and the winner of this is Jackie Valentino. Congratulations, Jackie. I will get this popped in the mail to you. So it will be coming soon. Um... Because I was kind of running last minute, I'm not sure yet what my prize is going to be for tonight, but it, I'll make sure that it's a good one. We'll announce it on Sunday, and then Sunday I'll have some extra prizes that I'm giving away just as a final thank you to everybody for joining me and pushing me and encouraging me to do this. I've really had a lot of fun with it, actually more fun than I expected. It's something I've wanted to do for a while, and just kind of kept putting it off because, you know, it didn't look right, it wasn't perfect, and finally decided, let's just do it. It's all about the projects and nothing else. So I do plan to continue doing this, so hopefully you'll keep joining me. I will post out kind of a schedule as to what night I'm going to do it, and we can stamp together. All right, so let's turn down. So hang on, close your eyes a minute. All right, let's flip that. <clears throat> All right, set that down. Oh. And let's get this up here. All right, how are we doing? Okay, good. Nicole says it's been fun. All right, let's scroll back through some of these because I missed a bunch of comments through. All right, so I know we've got Annie and Nicole and Charlotte. Yeah, I'm so glad you're late. Thank you. Uh, Jackie, Glenda, Robin, Debbie Cox from North Carolina. Thank you so much. Um, Debbie, pop me a, an instant message with your address. I want to send a little thank you for joining all the way from North Carolina with me. Okay, Let's see, who else? Helen's here with us. There's Jackie, yay, she's happy about the prize. Charlotte got her prize, yay. All right, so 
I went to the um, closeout list again. And this time I was looking to see, okay, what's really good deals on here that I have or don't have. Um, the pick a hoot dies that go with the have a hoot stamp set are on sale 40% off. So regularly $34 and they're on sale for $20 and 40 cents. That's a good deal. Um, rectangle tins that, oh, let's pull one in here. Okay. They hold little treats or whatever. They come in a package of four for $12. They're on clearance for $8.40. So that's about $2 a piece for the tins to wrap up a fun little gift in. Of course, you know, put some little fun chocolates in. All right, let's get this cord out of the way. All right, so hi, Gail. Here's the project that we're going to do because, of course, I love the gnome set. You guys know that um, gnome for the holidays. I've used this one a ton, so if you don't have it, you definitely want to order that one in the next two weeks. It is on the clearance or closeout list, so it will not be back with us next year. It's not on sale, but it's definitely a must-have set in my opinion. We put a little belly band on it. And then you can slide the belly band off. And then the box pops open. You ready? Because, uh-oh. Yeah, I did this really fast last minute. Sorry. And so we have some fun little chocolates inside. And then you can put a gift card right on top of it. And then they get some little sweets along with the gift card. Okay. And let's get those hinges in first. Okay. So... I started with a three and a quarter by eight and a half piece of cardstock. I did not score it at all. Oops, I got to take the goodies out of the inside first. Okay, so I didn't score the piece at all. I turned my tin upside down and I'm going to turn it this direction. And then I just pulled the one side. And then I'm going to use strong adhesive, so use your tear and tape, or the Seal Plus, or the green glue. And I'm going to put it on this edge, and I'm going to put it on this edge. Glenda says the tins are a nice size. They are. They are, let's measure it, four inches this way, and about two and a half inches this way. Hi, Joe. Thanks for joining. Okay, so again, we're just going to pull this tight. We put our seal here and on this end, and then we're just going to pull it snug so that it doesn't slide right off. Okay, so it's on there tight, but then if you just run through and kind of crease it with your fingers, that will keep it on there decent. Okay, and so then I have a piece of old olive cardstock that is two and three eighths by three inches. That is going to get attached right onto the belly band like that. Joe, your granddaughter looked adorable decorating the uh, cookies. I'm hoping maybe to get some cookies made next year or next week, not next year. Okay, then I took a piece of the, I was going to ask you before I showed this, what's my favorite designer paper? It is definitely the heartwarming hugs. Okay, and so this piece is two and a quarter by two and seven eighths. And then we're just going to adhere that. So we've got just a tiny eighth inch border around the edges. Okay. And then, oh, we have a newbie. Savannah, thank you for joining us. All right. Then I used one of the stitch shapes, the second largest um, oval, and I stamped my little gnome. So now we're going to pull in our Stampin' Blends because that's the only way um, to do any coloring. <laughs> Joe, that's adorable. She lasted for six cookies. Then she probably wanted to eat those six cookies, right? 
but she was very cute doing them. All right, so again, we're just going to color our gnome. Yes, you get to watch me do a little coloring tonight. We haven't done any for a couple of nights now, right? And now when I my new order from the holiday catalog, the things that I could pre-order, came in yesterday. The box is still sitting here on the floor. I haven't even had time to look at it yet. So I'm anxious to get that out and start doing some looking so I can start planning for some January classes. I want to do a bingo yet. I don't know yet if I will try to get it in yet in December at the very end of the month or if I will kick off celebration right away the beginning of January. I think that's the route we'll probably go. All right, and so I'm coloring the ornament, his socks, the stripes on his hat, and the bow, all with dark, real red. And then... Uh, then I'm going to take the Dark Old Olive. If you guys didn't get into the closeout sale yet to order some of the blends that are listed in there, they still have some of the single ones in there for $1.80 a piece. That's a bargain. I'm actually debating about going in and ordering a few more. I did get some on my first order, but I am thinking about getting some of this. All right, and then we're going to color his, I don't know, dress, shirt, uniform, whatever we want to call it. And we're doing that in the dark old olive also. And then we're doing the stripe on his sock. And then we're doing the mistletoe. Oh, Robin says almost sold out almost all sold out of the blends. When I looked uh, yesterday, I think it was, they were still showing there. So it's like, uh-oh. Volume has gotten very quiet all of a sudden. Uh-oh. That's, Charlotte, that's because I sat down. I'll stand up again so that I'm right in front of the phone so that you can hear me better. Sorry. Thanks for saying that, though. All right. And so then I colored the ornament with the light old olive, the stripe on it. And then I'm going to use the dark petal pink for his nose. Oh, all right. Only purple posy, light and dark left. So those things really sold quickly. Okay. So our little gnome is colored. However, when I'm going to leave his beard white... This time I'm going to use Wink of Stella, and we're going to make it sparkle a little bit. And so I'm just going to color those in. And if you've not used Wink of Stella, and I don't know for sure if you can see the little sparkle in it. Okay, and then we're going to find our trusty dimensionals. And, of course, we're going to add him with dimensionals. Okay, and then we're just going to put that right on there. And then I took a little 3 8 inch by 2 inch piece of real red, and I stamped a little Christmas wish, and then I put a mini dimensional on each end. Whoops, nope, not yet. And I forgot my scissors. Okay. Sorry about that. Charlotte, you made me think when you said the volume got quiet. So maybe I have a little speaker thing. Maybe I need to remember to get that out. Maybe that'll make a difference when I sit down and I'm away from it a little bit more. Okay, and so I'm just snipping a banner into this 3 8 by 2 inch piece. Then I'm going to put dimensional, a mini dimensional on each end of it. And then we're going to put that down at the bottom here. 
like that. And then I thought, well, it's a little plain. Let's add a little bit more. So I got out the wonderful gems again. And my pick tool. Lori commented about this the other night that she needed to get one. If you don't have the pick tool, it is fabulous. It's got a point on one end. So when you're poking out like all the little cutouts on things, but it un twists, untwists, turns over, locks back in, and now you have a little spatula. So you can do these types of things with the little spatula. And I like to keep the pointer end. There's also an end that has a roller brush on it. So when you're cutting out the dies that are real detailed, you can just roll over it and it'll help pop those things out. Then this end has the little tacky, I don't know, goo to it. This is what I use to grab the rhinestones and things and then just attach them. Instead of trying to pick it with your fingers. Some people use scissors. I don't have real good luck trying to do it with scissors. Um, I do better with the po poker end of the tool if I'm, if, if I'm not using the sticky parts. Okay, and so there's that part. Now, we need to put our little treats inside. So I have six Hershey Nuggets, because that's what I found I could fit in there. And then I cut six pieces of designer paper. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will do every other this time. I didn't last time. So these strips are one inch by three inches. And so you're just sticking it on and wrapping it. And so there's one. All right, let's see how I like this. Actually, first let's make sure those are all going the same direction. Oh, thanks, Glenda. And then, like I said, you can just throw a gift card in there and you've got a great little gift. Um, I've got a couple of guys at work that were doing just a small token little gift card for and I think something like this is what I will do because then it doesn't look like just a, a gift card. It's also got the um, chocolate treats inside because who doesn't like chocolate? Okay, and then wrap again. And this time we're going to go there. And then we're going to do it so that we have the red stripes again. And we'll do that one that way. And then we'll do another green one. And we'll do that that way. And then one final red one. Okay, that's kind of cute with the stripes. And then like that. Okay, so then we have our little treats. We can put our little gift card right on top of there, close it up, and now one side has the hinges. If you slide that side in first, it'll go on a little bit easier. And so then, voila, just like that, in no time, what is it? We've been on for a total of 19 minutes. Um, we have two little gift cards holders that we can give away and make somebody very happy okay um i think that's everything for tonight so you guys have a great great friday night and saturday and i will see you again sunday night with i'm, I'm gonna try for a couple of projects i think we'll do a gift card holder um i bought some little debbie gingerbread cookies so I think we will do some type of holder or container or something for that and we may even do like a wine tag to go on a wine bottle um, so be patient we'll go probably a little bit longer Sunday night we will go at seven o'clock I'll make hubby go upstairs to watch the ball game until we're finished okay so everybody have a great evening and I'll see you on Sunday thanks Bye-bye.